what it is you guys it's power drill and welcome to 10 scariest video before reality hits now this just gonna be like a quick little reaction i'm sorry about the static in the background i have the air conditioner on so um yeah so without further ado let go play Every moment in life is precious, but never truly safe. These videos show the moments leading up to very bad things happening, or in other words, before reality hits. Hang on real quick. You do something. Alright, my bad. Number 10. This dash cam video comes from Tempe, Arizona. Rafaela Vasquez is watching Hulu on her phone when suddenly a bicyclist heads directly into her path. One thing makes this recording an extra strange case. This is actually an experimental self-driving car made by Uber that is supposed to be able to operate without a driver. With that said, Uber hired Rafaela to sit in the car and take the steering wheel just in case something like this happened, which she sadly failed to do. You see, um, it's the driver's fault and the pedestrian's fault at the same time now the reason why it's the pedestrian's fault because he was jaywalking on his bike real slow and it was the uber driver's fault because she wasn't really paying attention to her road the pedestrian, Elaine Herzberg, did not pull through. Despite this, I could not find any news articles that says Rafaela Vasquez was charged with anything. Maybe Elaine violated traffic laws by crossing at an unmarked spot at night. Let me know if you think Uber or Rafaela should be held responsible. Number 9. A motorist in Lagos, Nigeria is making his way down the road, just basically minding his own business when he notices a major traffic slow down ahead. That's when he and his passenger both see a big red fuel truck heading in reverse. Watch this part and tell me what you think the fuel truck crew is doing here. It almost looks like they are trying to throw something into the tires to stop the truck from going backwards, but I can't tell for sure. The driver and his friend think they may have made it through the worst part, but seconds later they hear a huge bang from behind. <laughs> I guess the fuel truck backed into something. Wow! But I'm not sure what happened, and I couldn't find any articles with a clear explanation. So I'd like to hear yours. The driver pulls over to assist however he can, and the video ends shortly thereafter. Number 8. Onasi Olio Rojas uses Facebook Live to record himself doing 115 miles per hour on the highway. 115 miles per hour on the highway. Hashtag, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. We in Providence, Rhode Island, blasting loud music the entire time. He thinks nothing is swerving in and out of traffic, cutting off cars over and over again while going breakneck speeds. His high speed escapade only lasts about two minutes before he cuts into the shoulder and fails to pull off a quick two lane change. Oh my god, you going too fast. What you don't see in the final moments of this video is the garbage truck slamming into him from behind, sending Ow. the into the concrete barrier, and then into a dead stop in the middle of the road. He survived and was sentenced to six months of house arrest, followed by six months no, of No, do more than that. Based on this video, tell me if you think he has received a fair sentence. Number seven. It's late at night, and Charlotte Teeling is dancing by herself at a club in West Midlands, England. She finishes the last song and then says something to the bouncer on her way out, who later tells police that she hit on him. I believe the bouncer...
announcer because it looks like he bends over and laughs in disbelief at something outrageous that was said. Little does Charlotte know that a different man would pick her up later that night, a complete stranger named Richard Bailey. He takes her home, takes her life, and leaves her body for the police to find a week later. In a sad and weird twist of fate, if the bouncer had agreed to her proposition, Charlotte may very well still be alive. Number 6. A group of Russian construction workers are taking a break when a bear cub curiously wanders away. Bruh, as soon as I see a cub bear, I'm gone. Because you know what happens? If the mother bear going to come, and she going to rip you in half. So, here's my advice to you guys. If you ever see a baby bear, a cub, run for your life. Okay? Run. Over to their tent, their pet German Shepherd takes an interest in the small bear, and the construction workers videotape the entire scene, not thinking much of it at all. Even after the mother bear appears to see what the commotion is, you all see, about, I told you. The worker still does not seem worried in the slightest. Maybe they think they are safe in numbers against the wild animal, or maybe they've never learned how protective mother bears are over their cubs. A few tense moments pass before all of them quickly discover the grim reality of the situation. <laughs> Look at the video closely and it appears the German Shepherd makes direct eye contact with the mother bear, sending it flying into a rage. According to reports, the bear ravaged everyone inside of the tent, ending the lives of three workers and sending the rest to the hospital. Sadly, the poor dog did not make it either. I am curious as to what these workers could have done to avoid this unfortunate event. I guess they all should have abandoned camp as soon as the bear cub wandered in, but I want to know what other measures could have been taken, if any. There are also some reports saying that this video may have been staged, but I seriously doubt it. I have no idea how or why anyone would teach a bear to charge on command, so I think this video is 100% real. Number 5. A British truck driver named Thomas Croker is making his way down the 834 highway when he decides to change the song he's listening to. It's a decision that costs him the next 10 years of his life in jail. Ooh! Ooh! Three children going full speed, none of whom survive. These kind of videos are always hard for me to watch because playing with the phone is something that so many of us do every day while driving without a second thought. Hopefully, we can all learn from Thomas's terrible mistake and pay attention to the road more often. Number four. Two friends in Myrtle Beach are going to the top floor of a hotel. The honor roll students look to be in high spirits as they wait for the elevator, joking and laughing, even dancing at one point. A short while later, both of them are gone to the world forever. Daniela Flores and Amber Franco somehow manage to fall off the roof together, though no one is exactly sure how or why. You gotta be kidding me, yo. You always bother me on making a YouTube video. Leave me alone, please. You always mess up my YouTube video. I can never record it. Um, uh, okay, there's only two reasons of their death. Number one, committed suicide. You know what? I'm not even gonna say nothing. I, investigators God, initially me. thought they had jumped on purpose until the CCTV video showed their happy states. Obviously, they are carrying themselves with the seriousness of two people who are about to take their own lives. You can see they are wearing backpacks in this video, and both of these backpacks were found next to each other by the edge of the roof. Maybe they took them off before sitting down with their legs hanging over the ledge. I think maybe one of them accidentally slipped, and maybe grabbed the 
the other one is she went over tell me if you think this is possible or if you have a better explanation number three two police cars go racing through south bend indiana in response to an emergency call but notice how only one of the squad cars has the police lights on moments later an innocent 22 year old woman named erica flores is struck yo i swear when cuss making these YouTube videos, my family members always, I mean always ruin it. They always gotta ruin the video. That's so annoying. I can never record in peace. Dang. By the second police car on the way home from her factory job, she does not survive. An Indiana grand jury decided not to pursue charges against Officer Justin Gorney for reasons that were never released to the public. I personally think that Erica Flores would have stood a bit. Bruh, here's another advice. Um, to you, to your um police officer. This is advice to y'all police officers, so, um, y'all can't be tall, tailing down the street, y'all real fast, because it's real hard for people to pull over. It takes a while. Y'all can't be driving real fast, expecting people just to pull over. chance of avoiding the car if both squad cars were properly using their overhead lights and sirens. Either way, watching this video and knowing someone's life was lost moments later is unsettling to say the least, but let me know if you think the officer should have been charged or not. Number 2. Jack Shepard is on a date with Charlotte Brown when he suggested take a ride on his boat. She probably was imagining a common scenic tour on the water when she agrees, but Jack has other plans. He decides to impress her by going full speed ahead. Moments after taking this video, the boat collides with a floating tree trunk and throws them into the water. Only Jack survives. The London police later posted this video online to prove his guilt. After he tried to say Charlotte was the one driving, not him, Charlotte clearly tells Jack that he is going too fast, so I think he is definitely guilty of taking her life. He was eventually found guilty, but he has since fled and is currently on the run. Having seen the video evidence, tell me what type of punishment you think Jack Shepard deserves, if the authorities should ever find him. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a music video for my song Sidelines and I'd love to get your opinion on it. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my music video to give it a watch. It's also linked in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Saturday. Number one, one day a YouTuber named Pedro Ruiz has an idea for the ultimate YouTube video. The point of this video is, I really just want to see if a 50 caliber bullet can go through a book. He convinces his girlfriend Mona Lisa to unload a firearm into his chest at point blank rage while he holds nothing but an encyclopedia in front of himself for protection. Listen to the worried noise she makes here at the end of his request. Clearly, she doesn't think this is a good idea. Let's do it. Shortly after making this intro, 
Mona Lisa points at Pedro and hesitates. After being reassured numerous times by her boyfriend that he will be okay, she fires a round straight through the book, which then goes into Pedro's body. He perishes shortly thereafter. Mona Lisa was sentenced to 180 days in jail for making this video, but I want to hear your opinion as to whether this was a fair sentence or not. At times it seems as if she was clearly uncomfortable with doing this and was almost forced to go along. All of these YouTubers were brave enough to enter the forest, but after these in- Oh boy, make sure I call you punch that like button in the face like a boss. Peace.